Senate Republicans say they have the votes they need to pass their budget on Thursday, a step the GOP must take to later be able to pass a package of large-scale tax cuts without Democratic support. But before they can pass the budget, Republican face a series of Democratic amendments aimed at forcing Republican members into uncomfortable votes on the tax plan. Colloquially known as a vote arama, the series of amendment votes began Thursday at 3 p.m. Once it ends, probably late Thursday night, the Senate will be ready to vote on a budget. If Republicans succeed in that vote, they will be one step closer to approving the tax cuts that have become their essential policy objective since the Senate failed to pass multiple bills to rewrite Obamacare. Approving the budget would also help shore up ties between Senate GOP leaders and President Trump, who is angry at Republicans' failure on health care and bent on Congress approving a tax reform package by the end of the year. The GOP appeared to win enough votes to pass its budget Tuesday when Sen. John McCain Republican Arizona threw his support behind the proposal, saying it would provide a path forward on tax reform. Senator Thad Cochran's Republican Mississippi return from a health-related absence also added to leaders' confidence they have the votes for passage. Republicans control 52 of the Senate's 100 seats, meaning they can lose two votes from their own party and still pass the budget. Without Cochran. Republicans would have only been able to lose one vote. The voterama process allows senators to offer amendments to the budget resolution on any issue. But Democrats said they planned to focus on four key tax reform topics intended to make Republicans cast politically awkward votes tax cuts for the wealthy, tax increases for the middle class, reductions to Medicare and Medicaid spending, and increases to the budget deficit. I would like and I am urging my caucus to limit it to four issues. Schumer said Wednesday. In a sign of amendments to come, Senator Mark R. Warner, Democrat Virginia, floated a proposal earlier Thursday to stop Republicans from adding to the deficit with their tax reform package. It was defeated 51 to 47. Trump projected confidence Thursday about the Senate's ability to approve a budget, suggesting it would happen Thursday night following the vote. Hey, Rama. I think we have the votes for the budget, which will be phase one of our massive tax cuts and reform. Trump said during a meeting with Puerto Rican Gov. Rossello. But I think we'll be successful tonight with respect to the budget. I think we have the votes. And frankly, I think we have the votes for the tax cuts, which will follow fairly shortly thereafter. Political pressure is on leaders' side. Republicans cannot cut taxes without fierce passing the budget resolution, giving them a strong incentive to support it. On the Republican side, Defense hawks were ready to use the amendment process to highlight their priorities. McCain, the chairman of the Senate Committee on Armed Services, prepared an amendment to ensure increases in federal defense spending are prioritized over increases in spending in other areas. Defense and non defense are not of the same urgency, he told reporters Thursday. We have men and women serving in the military today who are being wounded and killed because they're not sufficiently funded, armed trained and equipped. A vote midday Tuesday to begin debate on the budget was the first big test for GOP leaders. It passed 50 to 47, with three senators absent and all other Republicans voting yes. Even Senator Rand Paul RKY, who opposes the budget in its current form, voted yes to begin debate after a conversation with Trump. Caron Demergian and Ann Guerin contributed. 